Bill Murray has been gracing our screens for decades and has given us many iconic characters. But what really launched his career was his performance in the 1980 comedy film Caddyshack. Well, it looks like Murray has held on to that role even after all these years. In this video, we'll show you how the Hollywood actor honored Carl Spackler, along with other greenkeepers, and we'll also dive into some shocking stuff, starting off with how Bill Murray reprised his iconic role. The Caddyshack star is definitely not a stranger to the golf community. Apart from playing a caddy in 1980, he's also been a regular player at the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship. This is part of the DP World Tour and is an elite golf tournament played on three different different courses in Scotland. What more could you want? Appearing to the tournament for the eighth time, Bill had something different planned. In a video posted by the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship on its Twitter page, we see Murray head out with the rest of the Greenkeepers as they prepare all 112 bunkers for the day. This must have brought back some old memories of the 72-year-old actor. Being a Greenkeeper is no easy job. Rising early before the sun had even come out, Murray saluted all the Greenkeepers as they drove ahead. In the footage, the American actor actually had to perform several manual tasks, like wetting the bunkers and raking through the sand, and it looked as if it was smooth sailing for him, given his experience. We also got to see his comedic side because, well, it's Murray after all. When asked by a greenkeeper if he's looking for work, the actor explained that he loved the job when he had it. Looks like you can't separate some of his roles from him. At the end of the video, we could see him heading down to a pub while singing a Scottish song. We did hope to see Carl Spackler in the video, but we'll take what we can get. Following up with how Murray brought his funny bone to the tournament, the American actor and comedian is a crowd pleaser at Dunhill Lynx every year, and that's mostly because of how never fails to make other competitors laugh. At this year's tournament, he was seen striking a conversation with professional golfers Patrick Harrington and Roy McElroy. Sporting a fuzzy hat, Murray approached two players and soon had both of them laughing. While we don't know what their conversation was about, we do know it had something to do with some crazy advice from Bill Murray. Patrick shared a photo of their interaction on his Instagram, in which Murray seemed to be checking the player's collar for something. Patrick mentioned in the caption that it'd be a good idea to hire Bill Murray as his personal valet. We sure wish we knew what the inside joke was here. Moving on to his performance at Dunhill Lynx Championship. What this tournament does differently is that we get to see an amateur player team up with a professional, and teaming up with Bill Murray this year was South Africa's Brandon Stone. He hoped to win top honors at the tournament for the first time, but playing on the same golf course that he helped prepare proved to be extremely difficult because of the freezing weather. Somehow Murray braved through it along with the other competitors. Together, Murray and Stone didn't really seem like a bad match. Murray scored an impressive 66, 6 under the course's par 76 when he played on the Carnesty Golf Course. They were 11 under after rounds of 66 and 67, and this was hard earned as Stone struggled through his second round to reach 79 on the Kings Barn Golf Course. But it was ultimately New Zealand's professional golfer Ryan Fox who ended up winning the tournament. He finished the game after leading through 7 holes and being 3 holes clear. This left him just as many to play. The winner honored his late team partner, Australian cricketer Shane Warne. He claimed that this victory was possible because of him. This was also Fox's second win of this year's DP World Tour. Shinkwin and Alex Aquavella won the team championship with a score of 37 under. Well, even though Murray lost, we're sure he's set to return to Scotland next year for another round of golf. Following up with other celebrity names at this year's Dunhill Lynx Championship, this was surely a star-studded event this year as many actors, singers, and other athletes showed up to play in the freezing cold weather of Scotland. Apart from the Ghostbusters actor, Karen Newton also showed up at Carnesty to give her fans a peek at her athletic abilities. The star of the 2020 horror comedy film Freaky teamed up with the English player Matt Wallace. This was her first time attending the event, and she was clearly excited to be at St. Andrews, the most historic golf course in the world. The former bassist of the LinkedIn Park, Dave Farrell, was also part of the event. He had teamed up with England's Russell Christie. Together, they scored a solid 68 in their first round. Another musician competing in the event was Tom Chaplin. You might know him as the lead singer in the popular rock band Keen. This was his fifth appearance. Competing for the 11th time was Boyzone's Ronan Keating. In his past performances, the Irishman even led the scoreboard alongside his teammate Graham Storm. Another veteran is American singer 
singer and songwriter Huey Lewis, who appeared 11th at the tournament. One-upping him is Tico Torres, the former Bon Jovi drummer who appeared 16th at Dunhill Links. Then we also have several sports personalities, like Mark Noble, who's a retired footballer. These appearances at Dunhill Links made the event a tremendous success. Other news. Moving on to more shocking revelations about Gina Davis and Bill Murray. The 72-year-old actor has landed himself in the thick of the Me Too movement. Earlier this week, through the launch of Gina Davis' new memoir, we heard of an uncomfortable audition the actress had with Bill Murray. And now, in an interview with iMagazine, we got to know another uncomfortable experience the actress had to suffer with her co-star. She recalled how during a press tour interview for the film 1990 Quick Change, she had to sit through Murray constantly stroking her arm. The video of this interview is still available online, and you could see how Davis is trying to release herself from Murray's grasp. At one point, the comedian even tugged at the straps of her dress. During all of this, Gina tried to appear calm and laughed along. But looking back at it, she called it awful and devastating. The actress had forgotten that she reacted that way in the interview, but at that point, she thought it made a funny anecdote that she could share. Following up with Murray's secret settlement, this was not the end of the accusations that the Ghostbusters star was set to face this month. In an expose done by Puck Magazine, it was revealed that Bill Murray paid a $100,000 settlement to a female crew member at the set of Being Mortal. This film was supposed to be Aziz Ansari's directorial debut, but something happened on set which caused the whole thing to shut down. Apparently, Murray engaged in some inappropriate behavior that led to this sudden decision. The actor claimed that it was something funny and that times have changed, which made him misinterpret the situation. But Puck reporters claimed that it was something much more than that. He kissed and straddled the female crew member, which led to the settlement. The American star still hasn't commented about any of these allegations. There's no apology or denial so far. Wrapping up with Rob Schneider's takedown of the Caddyshack star. Just when we thought this rep couldn't get worse, another celebrity shared their experience of working with Murray. In another startling confession, Rob Schneider revealed that Bill Murray actually hated most of the SNL cast members. The SNL alum actually used the words absolutely hated to describe the feelings Bill had while hosting the NBC show. Schneider claimed that the Lost in Translation actor hated seeing the whole cast. It wasn't just a simple dislike, but actual hatred. Wow, what did these people do to him? Rob revealed some of the people that Bill showed his dislike for. One of those was late comedian Chris Farley. Schneider believed it had something to do with Farley's lifestyle that Bill hated. His hatred for him could be seen in his eyes. At least that's what Rob Schneider believed. Apart from Farley, he also hated Adam Sandler. But Rob also claimed that Murray didn't hate him as much. And for that, Schneider was certainly glad. Even after all the unpleasantness on the set of SNL, Rob still considers him his hero. The SNL star stated that even though he thought he hated his fellow comedians, he was a pretty decent guy towards everyone else. Hmm, we don't know what to make of that. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Bill Murray at the Dunhill Lynx Championship? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.